Hello and welcome to Glenn Presley's Shooting Adventures. Today. <laughs> coming this weekend but then I realized that there was a, a Dutch championship for one of their associations uh, for FITAS Sporting. Uh, I think they have two uh, associations in Holland. I think the first one is the PCVN and then the KNSA. I might be wrong um, but that's my understanding. I'm sure somebody will correct me when they see this if it's incorrect. So yeah we're a bit of a trek this morning. Uh, left about 7 a.m. Uh, have to be there. Uh, we'll probably get there about quarter to ten, and then um, yeah, I think I'm on about quarter to eleven. So yeah, it'll be about right by the time I get ready and everything, get booked in, should be fine. Um, luckily, I got a later start time, so thank you to uh, Frank for sorting that out because that helps with a bit of a trek of a drive from Germany here. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. I uh, want to redeem myself after the last few weekends because yeah, I felt like I've had a bit of bad luck recently with the shooting. I don't think I've shot bad. Um, I think I've been shooting quite well, quite consistent. Uh, but yeah, just haven't had the run of the green, as they say. Uh, last weekend was atrocious, really. Just still can't believe some of the decisions and things that went against me. Um, yeah, and it really, really cost me my chances, to be fair. So it was a bit disappointing, you know, when you spend all that money and put in all that effort, and then through no fault of your own, um, yeah, things like that happen. But it is what it is. Um, that's in the past now. We just got to continue and uh, keep shooting the good average scores, and then the results will come. So I know that. I've been doing it long enough to realise that. So. Um, yeah, as I said, I didn't think I'd be back at Dorho Mies for a while. Um, it's the last fit ass shoot before um, we go back to England for my wedding. And um, the 2K is on the way, so we're stopping there. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. And um, I'll speak to you a bit later on when we shot the first layout. But Maar het wil wel rond. Ja, het is wel leuk, kijk hoor. Oh! 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 
Okay, welcome back. We've shot the first layout and um, yeah, didn't shoot it that way. Didn't find it that easy either. Um, managed a 19 out of 25. Um, first stand, I dropped three clays. They threw a fast A bird from left to right. Yeah, and I wasn't feeling as confident as usual. And I missed it single and double um, from the gun down position. Yeah, if you're not on your game, then that's one you can miss. And then I missed a looper. And it was a nothing looper, I smoked it in the single. So I was three down after the first peg. Went to the second peg, uh, didn't shoot that badly, and dropped another one. Went to the last peg for a 21, which wouldn't have been the end of the world. And I missed the easy seabird, well I thought it was easy, in the single, both barrels. Took it for granted, thinking about it too much. And then the Simo pair, I dropped the second target, so I ended up on a 19, which was, which is horrendous to be honest for me. Um, so yeah, what, what what can I say on that? The timing was bad from my side. Um, taking taking too many targets for granted, I think. Thinking, oh yeah, I can kill them. Yeah, I struggled on the first one. Um, yeah, don't know, don't really know what happened to be fair. Um, wasn't a tough layout, it was a 23 layout all day long. So yeah, we've got work to do again, but at the moment that seems to be a scenario that I'm used to. So um, we'll go to the next ones and just try to let it flow, I think. I need to stop thinking too much and let, let I know what to do in the back of my mind. I just need to try and let it flow. Um, in bits and starts I'm shooting really well. I can shoot two, two or three targets smoke them, the rhythm's there, the timing's there, and then all of a sudden I'll drop a target or drop a bomb and a double, and uh, I don't know, I think it's just a bit of confidence to be fair. So um, we'll go to the next one, we've got a bit of a break, and um, we're gonna have something to eat, and um, we'll see how it goes, and we'll let you know if we can uh, pull something back on the next one. Yeah. Oh. the second layout um, much better um, feeling um, I think my mentality was wrong this morning and it just goes to show that you really at this level need to be on the ball all of the time you need to have the right mindset going into it and um, yeah I've just shot a 24 on that one I missed the rabbit in the single it was a very edgy rabbit I haven't missed the rabbit for a long long time and um, it felt like it should have broke, but it was so edge on, maybe, yeah, it could get away. Um, so I'm not really bothered about that, to be honest. Um, there was a few other tricky targets in there. And they're targets where 
they're not hard, they're not easy. You think you ought to be getting them, but it makes it 10 times harder because you know everyone counts. Um, but again, I went into this layout and I just said to myself, come on, man. you've shot all of these targets before. You've been shooting for a long time. So why are you putting extra pressure on yourself and thinking about it too much? Just get it in there. Okay, overhead birds, I really need to know where to hold my gun, but everything else, loads of time, shoot it your way, and you'll kill them, and that's what I did. Um, I think that layout will be straighted. There'll be quite a few 24s, but again, you still got to do it. So yeah, I'm happy with that, because this morning, yeah, I, don't, I just, just, just wasn't at, at the races again. I've done it a couple of times this year. Um, I think recently I just put in too much pressure on myself, which isn't needed. I know I can shoot well. I know I have the ability to kill nearly everything that somebody can throw. So it's just a case of actually doing it. It sounds stupid, it sounds hard, but yeah, um, happy with that one. We'll see how the rest goes. I just need to go into it with the same mentality and see what happens with those. Oh. Oh. Right, we're back again. Um, didn't really go to plan, I guess. First stand was okay. Dropped one clay, which, yeah, you could miss one of them, maybe. But, yeah, if you're shooting really well, then it was a straight stand. Uh, middle peg, you got a midi, which I only hit, saw hit a couple of times, and there was three squads went through while I was down there. So, yeah, I missed that. The D-Bird was not easy and you had to shoot it from the gun down position. It was a fast crossing thing, probably starting at about 35 to 40 yards, but it was f quite fast off the trap arm. Got it second barrel in a single, which was acceptable, you know, that's what you needed to do. But then you got it in the double and it was the first clay, so gun was out of the shoulder. And um, yeah, there was a little bit of a discussion went on before me. Um, the, the referee decided he wanted to give a gun warning to someone after they'd shot, which, yeah, don't understand that. You do it when they make the, the error, and then, yeah, this, I was just about to go in a cage and get ready, or the stand and get ready, and then there's a big discussion. Maybe that f threw me off a bit, and to be honest with you at the moment, I'm not shooting to my best, and little things like that are starting to put me off. Um, I think what today has shown me is that I've shot too much recently and I need a break. I need a break. I need to have a break. I'm not as hungry as I was at the beginning of the season. Um, it's getting a bit like I'm going through the motions and I'm just turning up because there's a competition. Um, that's how it feels, I think. 
if I'm really truthful to myself and I want to be truthful to you guys because yeah, at the end of the day the whole point of this is to um, try and get in the head of someone and what they think at what times and yeah, um, I, I came here because I wasn't happy with what happened at Dornsburg. I wanted to try and shoot well because I, did, I shot well at Dornsburg in, in phases but I was full below my best I think, and I had the issues which didn't help. And then, yeah, coming to this one, yeah, I had high expectations and I've, on the first layout I put too much pressure on myself, I told you that already. Um, second layout I was more relaxed, just shot the clays how I wanted, instead of um, trying to shoot stuff quicker because I'm more nervous and not confident. When I slowed down and shot my pace I shoot a nice 24 and it, it felt good and that's how it should be. And then on the next layout, yeah, it started okay. But then, yeah, a little thing got to me, which shouldn't have got to me. And, yeah, struggled from there on. I mean, I straighted the last stand. And the last stand, you had a hard e-bird, which was... Um, it was in the single, not in the double, as it should be, and I, I killed it. And I killed the D bird which was the other trickier one. And I straighted that stand, so, yeah, to hang in there for a 21, that was good. Um, still good, which was a positive. But, again, I need to, I, I need to have a break from the shooting. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on and um, it, you know you need to be 100% focused on this. I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment with projects at work and a lot of stuff and obviously with my wedding and to be honest with you yeah, I need to focus on these things. They're a bit more important at the moment and um, yeah I want to do my best at the shooting. I want to be I want to be as good as I can be. I don't think I have been yet apart from the one shoot that was at the Wildenberg and a couple of other smaller ones. So yeah, um, yeah, just trying to give you an insight into how I'm feeling and what I think with that. So yeah, the plan is to have a break now. We're going to Latuke on Friday next week on the way back for the wedding because it's just a social thing that we did last year and it's nice and we get to see a lot of people that I didn't see when I used to shoot for helis. So I'm looking forward to that. And it's relaxed atmosphere, it's not serious competition. Um, yeah, we've got one more to do. I want to try and end on a high note. And um, yeah, try to enjoy it as much as I can. And then, um, yeah, we'll see where we end up. But i, I got to straight the last one, for, I think, for something like an 89. And I think, yeah, 95 will be the score around. Anything above that will be exceptional shooting. So we'll see, but... Again, I'm shooting good average scores, don't get me wrong. Some people will think, oh, yeah, what's he talking about? I wish I could shoot those scores, but I'm just talking about, for me, my standards, what I've set myself and how I feel when I'm shooting. So please remember that. I'm not being arrogant because, yeah, some people would be happy to have a 21 and be where I am. I understand that. But, yeah, I'm expecting a bit more for myself. So, yeah, we shall see. And um, we'll speak to you after the last one.
Hey Glenn, shoot that fee once more. The Victor. Yeah, there's I'll only pigeon, only it's play fun. you missed. Too much. Giving it too much lead. Ball. Yeah, hey! Ball. Ball. Right, well, we finished for today and uh, finished on a 22. Um, <laughs> I shot one away on the first stand. I missed the going away trap bird in a double, couldn't believe it. I, I smoked everything and this is what I mean. I'm just very, at the moment, I'm very bitty. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm shooting like three or four on the trot, smoking them up, very smooth, looking good, feeling good. And then all of a sudden, something just, I don't know, I'm not really, 100% I don't think. Second stand, I dropped two clays. Um, yeah, and then the last stand I straighted it, but it, it's a 24-25 layout. So again, I'm dropping clays all over the place. So I finished up um, on an 86, 243s, which is well below par, but in phases, some of it was good, you know. But again, yeah, I just think I've shot too much lately. I think, um, yeah, the thinking, the thinking and uh, yeah, it was, was the idea was there, but um, it wasn't the right thing to do. I should have had a break, left it now, and just come back in September, uh, late September for the other competitions and get my head sorted and just have a bit more hunger again to, to, to win instead of just going through the motions. I feel, I feel like I want to win and that I'm trying. Um, I was nervous this morning, put a lot of pressure on myself, but the, the feeling, something wasn't right this morning, yeah, you can tell sometimes. Um, so yeah, so what did we shoot this morning? We started off on the blue layout, and um, yeah, that was my nightmare, I shot 19. And then we shot the red course, and I did a 24, which was really good. And then this afternoon we started on the blue again and I did a 21 and then yeah the last one we finished on the red and I did a 22 so again uh, my average is still sitting at 90% so you know this is the first I think sometimes I think a bit too much and um, expect too much maybe a little bit I need to calm that down maybe because um, yeah, this is the first year that I'm shooting real competitively, trying to go there and, and win and come in the top positions, and I'm using the same gun every time, for one. Um, and I haven't really shot continuously for two years. I mean, last year I shot the odd competition here and there, but I was borrowing guns. The year before, I was in Germany obviously working, and the only shooting I did was when I went back to England. So, you know, I've got to think uh, logically here and um, it's not all bad um, so now I can forget this I proved to myself what the problem was I know what I have to do I know what I need to do to come back and um, yeah we'll see you next week in the 2k totally different scenario we're shooting some helis uh, for those of you that haven't seen it before it's based on when uh, in the old days they used to shoot live pigeons at boxes and you have a white disc uh, plastic like the size of a clay with orange plastic wings um, five boxes in front of you and a ring in a semicircle with a fence about so high I don't know the exact measurements and um, yeah you have to shoot the white out separate it from the wings and it has to la land inside the fence so you've got the Latuke Cup I think and uh, two big competitions over the weekend and obviously there's a team event where it's the Waterloo Cup so the English uh, versus the French, so a bit of fun there, you know, so I'm looking forward to that and then yeah, head right because the wedding's coming up, so yeah, so we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it um, and we'll see you um, next week.